In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the intro to Flash the Blade by Iron Maiden. This is a really good riff for turning into an exercise so that you can get better at playing hammer-ons from nowhere. Um, first thing we have to talk about is how I'm muting out all the strings. So I take my thumb and I place it right on the A string. And then the string is crossing my thumb right at about here, the E string is. And then I kind of palm the pick with my second finger and I use these three these three fingers on the bottom three strings. I'm just kind of you know placing my fingers on there and that way the only sound that comes through is the D string. And that's going to, to make it so that it's not making any sound when I'm doing that. So the riff is on the seventh fret of the D string, eighth fret, and tenth fret. Now the first measure of it is all on the seventh fret and open. You know, because you're you're hammering on and pulling off to open. And it's gonna just be solid eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. So you've got one and two and three and four and. Then for the second measure of that, you move up to the eighth fret, and you've got one and two and, and then tenth fret, three and four and. So we've got one and two and Now, there's two different fingerings that you can use. Well, there's probably more than that, but uh, in the video, I've used to where I'm playing with my first finger, second finger, and third finger. So I'm assigning a note to each finger. You can also do it with your pinky, but your pinky is kind of a weak finger, so it's not going to be ideal for something like this. Um, and then I've also played it where I'm using only my second finger. So it doesn't really matter because either way, it's going to sound the same um, over the course of the song. It's just, like I said, one of those things that's not going to matter. Uh, now, the second part of the riff, so once the rhythm guitar kicks in, um, that's when it starts to alternate between the movement of the, the riff going up and then down. So the first four times that you go through this, so uh, the first four, uh, yeah, well, the first four times, you're always moving it in an up direction. You're always going... Uh, one. So it's always moving, you know, moving up. The second part, the second time through the riff, then you go up, then you come down. So when you come down, you're coming down to the fifth fret of the D string. So you've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So practice this. First thing I would do is take that first measure of just those eighth notes on the seventh fret and just get to where you can make those notes nice and solid and practice it with all your fingers. You know, even your pinky. That'll help you later on when you have to you know, do some long stretches and you're hammering on and pulling off with that. Uh, it'll strengthen it up for you a little bit, give you some control on it. Um, but work through this riff. After you put everything together, then you end up with Hopefully it helps you out, and I'll see you next time.